Oh boy. What a news bomb we got today. Ladies and gentlemen, the Louisville Extreme, after getting kicked out of the NAL for not providing letters of credit, or potentially, you know, probably leaving, you know, backing out of the NAL because they knew. Uh, so the Extreme have joined the Indoor Football League. They have joined up, making this technically the 17th team in the league, but we all know that Oakland, San Diego, um, Cedar Rapids, they're gone. They're probably not coming back. We know Quad City might be gone too, and Columbus is not going to play until um, 2022. So... But but Columbus has money and stuff. They have people behind it. The same dudes who run Frisco. Um, but Louisville, they were in the AAL for about a few hot minutes and got out of there, canceled their, their season. There was supposed to be their first season in the AAL. And they canceled that. Said, we're not going to do that. We're not going to try play this year they jumped to the NAL that didn't work out obviously because we did a whole video on it last week and now today today team number 12 in the IFL for 2021 what a crazy time it's going to be I don't know about Tampa Bay though they might go back down to the AAL I don't really know I'm not sure right now, but we do know that Louisville is there. They have Mark Stout and, you know, guys, you know, Chris Redman, who is the team president, stuff like that. But, yeah, Louisville in the IFL it should help out Massachusetts and whenever Columbus decides to play. But, yeah, it's looking pretty interesting out there, looking pretty interesting you know, the IFL continues to get stronger and stronger, even though, you know, there's been some questionable things that they've done as well, but a lot stronger now. They've added, you know, and this is, Louisville team is looking to prove themselves because, I mean, they have, they have, they, they, they're, they got to play, you know, at some point. You know, COVID's not going to be, you know, it's not going to hinder us from playing forever, you know. But, yeah, the IFL is looking pretty strong. It looks pretty nice right now. And, you know, unless COVID decides to destroy 2021 for next season as well, I'm telling you, the league's looking strong. You know, it could, could you know, get rid of some other leagues that, you know, have been kind of on false footing the last couple of years. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully there's more news soon, you know, regarding the indoor football scene. We'll see you Saturday night or Sunday for college football stuff. See you then, everybody.